Now, there's been a recent SEBI circular on how much tracking error ETFs and index funds can have and how much tracking difference they can have. So it's 2% for tracking error and 1.5% for tracking difference. Um, so Pratik, I'll just finish with you on the international bit and I want to come to DP sir next um, on this circular. So insofar as your NASDAQ ETF is concerned, are you able to stay within this circular or is there an exception for international uh, feeder ETF? Yeah, so, so there is no exception for international funds. Uh, it sort of is in line with domestic funds. Although we are representing and we are saying that international should be separate. Uh, in fact, for NASDAQ, it's not a problem because uh, NASDAQ ETF is still very low tracking error because uh, your tracking error does not include price on the exchange. Uh, it's, it's what the price of the ETF gives you to the investor, which is always invested in the stocks underlying. So I think it's not a problem for you know, our international funds. Yes, it is a problem if you're uh, you know, buying stocks uh, in different countries. You know, so if I'm buying a stock in Japan, in um, say you know France, Germany, UK, uh, because of the time differences, it does cause pause, uh, it does cause a problem. So I think uh, yes, you know there is a, so we have a fund which invests into Europe and Far East countries, where uh, you know because of the way a tracking error is calculated, because of the way NAV is calculated, you know there is a pretty high tracking error. Although for an investor they don't see this, so I think there we're trying to make a representation. But um, I think overall it's an excellent step, you know, because I think it's. Uh, as per the regulations before, you know, the fund has to complete three years for them to go out there and, I think, uh, um, start displaying tracking error, tracking difference. But now I think with the new regulations, it makes, makes things a lot easier uh, for the investor to take the right call. I think uh, disclosures have improved. Also before, there were, you know, there were sort of varied ways of, tracking ca of, of, tra of calculating tracking error. But even now, that's sort of, you know, become quite synonymous and same. So I think in that sense, uh, transparency has become a lot easier and overall it's a very good move uh, you know by the regulator mutual fund investments are subject to market risks read all scheme related documents carefully